the main story which we have. Hold up. Ugh. What's up guys, Tao here. So for a very long time, I am a big fan of the Mac Mini. Um, in my opinion, it's very versatile due to its physical size and its desktop-like connectivities. Now today, let me share with you how we use the Mac Mini. If you have a Mac Mini as well, please leave a comment to share how you use it. The model I have here is the 2018 base model with i3 processor, 8 gig RAM, although I upgrade to 16 gig of RAM, and also with 128 gig of the SSD. Sadly, you can't change it, but to overcome the uh, shot of storage, we have added a bunch of uh, external storage just to compensate lack of storage. Now, let me just tell you the background of why we use this Mac Mini as our main uh, computer uh, recently. Uh, until recently, um, we only use this as one purpose, that is Plex server. But recently, my, uh, my wife needs to work from home, so we decided to use this little thing as our main day-to-day -day computer. So I can leave my main Hackintosh for my editing and uh, more importantly, gaming. All right, now let me show you the connectivities on this little thing. Um, the first thing is the computer monitors. We have two monitors. Uh, so I've been using one of these um, Anker USB-C uh, multiple adapters. It has HDMI, SD, uh, another input, uh, Ethernet, and two extra USB 3s. So it, normally I will just connect this to one of the Type-C ports at the back. And because it has a separate HDMI cable, or port, sorry. And here what I normally do, here's the HDMI cable, connect to it. So that leave a extra HDMI connection on the dock and then I connect to another HDMI cable so voila now this are the two monitors set up now I only have 120 gig inbuilt storage now to overcome um, for the majority of my storage and let me show you The main, the main storage we have. Hold up. Ugh. It's very heavy. It's this Pegasus uh, NAS drive. It has four three terabytes drive in there uh, with a RAID five. So effectively, it's about nine terabytes storage. So what I connect to it is this. Thunderbolt 3 to uh, Thunderbolt 2 adapter and then so I would just use that adapter type a Thunderbolt 3 and then connect to the Thunderbolt port on the mini and then the other end connect to one of these Thunderbolt port and then voila, sorted. That is nine terabyte storage on the mini. Now, for other storage, I have other type of storage in uh, solution for it as well. Now here, now this alien looking thing, um, that is the heatsink uh, solution, DIY heatsink solution for the one terabyte. Uh, Samsung 960 Pro uh, NVMe SSD with the USB 3.1 adapter. So here's the cable. So now this, I use this for mini editing. If I ever want to edit on the mini, I just use this. Now the performance of this thing is pretty good. Um, with adapter type 3 is about 900 megabyte per second transfer rate. Um, yeah, so and then that's the type C adapter here. Oh, actually, it's the USB to type C, and I have a type C to USB adapter here, so that is very handy. So, plug it into there, and then I will have voila. So, another Thunderbolt 3 port has been occupied. 
Now, we are not done with storage yet. Hold on one second. Okay, here is another weird looking object. It actually is a hard drive cage. I took it off my old uh, Phoenix uh, Phantom, I think, a case. Uh, this is the hard drive cage. I can tell by looking at it. That is that. So I mount two hard drives, two and a half inch drive on it. One is the Samsung A60 Pro uh, SATA SSD. And another one inside, it's the, as a mechanical, one terabyte Toshiba HDD. Uh, so make up total of two more terabytes of storage for the mini. So these two will be connect to uh, the USB three ports at the back. Here is a USB hub. So normally it come in a USB, normal USB three with four additional USB type three. Here I have a USB C to USB three adapter. So we just connect to it now. And also if I plug this thing in to a Thunderbolt, a, the last Thunderbolt three port, that one, voila. So all of the ports been occupied. For the ethernet or for the internet rather, I don't normally use a Wi-Fi, so I'm not a big fan of Wi-Fi. I prefer ethernet. So I would just plug this thing in there. Now for the sound, for the headphone, I normally use Banya Dynamic uh, DT770 Pro with a wire. Here we go, voila. So every single port has been occupied. All right, let's just recap what I have connected to this mini. So in terms of storage, total, uh, what we have nine terabyte here, effective storage and one terabyte NVMe SSD and another terabyte of the Samsung A60 Pro, one terabyte and also a external, uh, another terabyte HDD. So in total is about 12 terabyte of storage. Now monitors, I have two monitors. Uh, one is directly connect to the HDMI port here. The other one is type C to this anchor adapter. A multiple adapter with HDMI out. To overcome the short of uh, USB port, I have six technically, six additional USB type three. So four here and another two here. So overall I have six um, spare USB three ports. And ethernet, that is the preferred, that's the preferred internet connection I have. Yeah, that's it. All right, that is everything we have connected to this mini. Now, if you have a mini as well, please leave the comment down below to share how you use it. So maybe other user can get inspiration from it as well. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Take care guys. See you in the next video. Peace.